mighty and our god and our father in the name of Jesus Christ Ngai wetu we pina na munene isitwa ni ya Kristo Yesu Before you this morning we come Bewa kukikwacha ni kini twathengea With our hearts full of gratitude and Bo, worship to you Yesu sweetwe ni ni mubea na udhaidhi Thank you for making us a remnant in such a day like today Ni mubea kututwa utia lo mudhenani tawu that we may come in your house and that we may be found in the presence of you as we listen your word this morning may it please you to come and minister in the tabernacle in our presence speak to every soul speak to every thought speak to every spirit speak to every heart that is listening your word this morning in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. and amen. amen I I invite us to the word of God uh, we will uh, allow us to go to the book of Luke chapter 15 uh, verse number 23 and today we are we are concluding on the study or our topic on uh, the far country no mundi niwo mumino kilio wa utabania ola with it wo yetu and today we will look at the celebration day no mundi ni mudena wa mboka the celebration time ibinda ya kutani ya mboka and the celebration time means the feast the feeding time ibinda ya kuisa ni abamwe kuvoka mboka bamwe a time when the sun is come back home utanu wa jila there is great joy na bethi wana utanu munene by the father and the father is eager to have everybody come to celebrate with him and that is why we are calling the celebration time remember the subtopic is the return returning home the celebration time now that the son has now come back home and the family is about to celebrate verse 23 says Luke 15 say bring the fattened calf and kill it let's have a feast and a celebrate tuye tutane for this son of mine was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found so they began to celebrate it is not very clear how they celebrated but there was a celebration it is not very clear the kind of menu but we only know one one part one item of the menu we only know that there was a fattened calf that, that the father instructed that it be slaughtered and that means there was meat in plenty and so meat was not a problem and today I want to connect that verse 23 with the, with the, with the parable of the wedding banquet and the wedding banquet in the book of Matthew chapter number 22 uh, verse 2 to, 20, to 14 sorry Matthew 22 verse 2 
kwa ya musu wa wakeli The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. Usumbi waitu uili ta musumbi umwe ula wa muboke mwana wa kembo kaya mutwana. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come but they refused to come. Na atu mangombo siyake kumeta ala meti tuwe mbokani ya mutwano moke na oma lea kuka. Verse 4. Then he sent some more servants and said let those who have been invited that I have prepared tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner my oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered and everything is ready come to the wedding banquet Musuwa wakana atu maingi ngombo ingi achasia matapia hii ala meti tuwe sisi ya hii ni nze uvisi mbo kaya kwa Dewa siya kwa na indo siya kwa no une siwa iwe Na si indu siyo ndeni si umba netwe Ukai mbokani ya mutwana Verse 5 But they paid no attention and went off One to his field, another to his business Musuwa wakatano, indi malea kuona taundu Na mendea, umwe munda ni wake Ungi utandithio ni wake Verse 6 The rest seized his servants he treated them and he killed them. Musuwa watha ndatu. Na ala mati ya lile. Ma kwa tangombo siyake. Ma siyika na hii. Na ma siwa. Verse 7. The king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those mandaras and burnt their city. Na uwa musuwa wa muonzo ya siya. Indi ula musumbi adhata. Atuma itasiyake na ananga owa ni asu. Na vivi anduwa yo. Verse 8. Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not deserve to come. Musuwa wa nana, Na indi aitabia ngombo, Na indi aitabia ngombo siyake, Boka ya mutuano ni nze ubie. Indi ala meiti tuwe maina ila. Verse 9. Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. And I indi, Matani sio ni mama lelu na onde ala mukona mete imo ke mutuwa anoni. Verse 10, so the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, both good and bad, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. Nangombo isu siya uma ala siya adhima lelu ni na siyo omba niya onde ala siyo niye ala adhuku ona ala aseo na mutuwa anoni. Verse 11 But when the king came in to see the guests He noticed a man There that was Who was not wearing wedding clothes Verse 12 Fred He asked how did you get in here without wedding clothes? The man was speechless. Verse, verse number 13. Then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 14, for many are invited, but few are chosen. Nivoi ni musumbi wa mehi ya vukumi, muove imoko na mawu, muichei kebindu nenza, vo vakethi wa keo na kubebe tanya maeo. Nikuithi wa niya ingi ala metawa, indi ala anyuve ni avudhu. The two parables of the prontical son and the parable of the wedding banquet. Ndimo ili siya mwana kimama hii na mboka ya mutuano They all speak about a feast Sio ndeni ye ange wala mboka At some point they talk about a feast Pepa andu babi kawange wani siye lima kaweta undu wa mboka And when this son, the prodigal son came home Jila mwana kimama hii usio kie musie The father was overwhelmingly joyous and happy 
na uedhi wana utanu mwingi and immediately he ordered and instructed that the fattened calf be killed and slaughtered na mituki edhi ya yango mbosi yake siu wae kasalukala kano and the reason was so that everybody together with him may celebrate the return of this son ketumi ni kana we na ala ange mevo matani ya kusio kawa that is why he's cry and say and let us eat and celebrate na nicho ketumi ukunena na wasia munene akas achasia who is speaking who is he speaking to ene nani ya nau that is where the parable of Matthew 22 comes in. Na bani boy ndi ndimo ya ngewa ya mutwa mboka ya mutwa no ekuka. I want us to look at the environment and the ki- the feasting time, the kind of people that were invited by the father to come and celebrate. Nienda ukudhocha nikanatu ikuoe and wala madhoke tu mbokani ya mwana kutwani. Because we say the father in the prodigal son parable represented the god in heaven the father our god nundu otondo tu imaniti kubika bauni kana na wa mwana mwau ni wona ni wanga hii asa and today we are waiting the church is waiting for the wedding banquet of the lamb of god jesus christ otondo mu kanisa yete lete mutwano wa katena kanga hii kristo yesu and the father is throwing a bash a party to everybody who is willing na na no no selvete mboka kwa kila umwe unukwenda and this feast is not a feast a very small feast ne not mboka kaswi if it was an issue of meat they would have sent somebody to come to go and buy from the butchers no ndo takethi wajayo na ma ayatona utuma na butcher lini ni kanaka thowewe if it was a family small meeting they would have slaughtered a, a goat or a sheep Takedi wanwe yomba no wa musimeyo matona kudhinza ndena yelo Because when there are family gatherings and the celebrations we usually say this got eating Nundu jila misi yomba na misi twasia ni madhinzi yembui Just come and celebrate we have a god that we eating together Ukaitu tane pamwe ni tudhinzi yeka tena ka mbui But the fattened calf are to be recommended for this celebration Ini katena ka ngombe ba yani ka ni kapani we kondu wana utanu wana the ma, in the book of Matthew chapter 22 Mathayo miongweli na ile we have also seen the king instructing the slaughtering of the fattened calf nitukona kana ba musumbi ni wezi aite ni kana indo siake ila no uithinzwe because a fattened calf is reserved for great occasions nundu nde wano ujitha yiwe chadike kitumi because it is larger in size nundu ni nene it requires neighbors and friends and perhaps the whole village to come and celebrate and do justice to it nandi dia wa ibangiwe atui anana and aingi momba ne pamwe kutana and so kondu wa u when the king prepared a banquet for his son Jila musumbi useubisi mboka kondu wa mutwano wa mwana e is now charging and instructing for the invite to everybody that mattered in his life. Jiwe ndenu kutuma ngombo siake ni kana siete andu alame kitumi dhalo ni wana. And he say go and tell those that have been invited that the celebration is on. Na etuma ngombo siake imea mata pye alame titwe kana mboka ni nze ubie. Ya come and and come and celebrate. Okay to turn. And that was a divine calling. Na kai o wai wito wa kiunga. Very specific to individuals. Na weti tu and one of them. Very specific to persons of high honor and dignitaries. Weti wai wita no kwa andu mai kiwango cha jiulu na mandai. It was very specific to the counterparts like the rest of the kings that are in the surrounding. Niwe eti tu andu make to me tasumbi ala mai asumbi imwe na kekilioni kiu. We expect a king ambi equita andu makilas chedo. Auta tarajia mfaume kuweka a uh, sherehe kwa watu was, walio kiwango. Musumbi eta asumbi ale namo. Kila mara mfaume akiweka a uh, sherehe anawekea wafaume wenzake. And I suppose that this the guest were a special people nani kwatie kana andu amadhoketwe mbokani mai andu make to me the people that we call them vips 
Very important people and persons. And to make it to me that possibly invited through cards, invitation cards. And These are people whose cards are even printed their names. These are not passers by. That is why he says those that are invited go and tell them now to come. They will still yes Israel. purposely the Jewish community. The Commonwealth of Israel. Wale wana wa uzao wa Israel. By Nenela Israel. Ile ko kubwa la Israel. Akamba malai mupango ni usu mwambilio. Wakamba awakuwa katika mpangilio huu. Tulendi ni uwa makalatasi yala maandiki ya wala mailu tekiduki. Atukuwa katika maandishi ya wali walikuwa katika mwaliko huo. Indi ya umeaila metiwe. Lakini wakati walipu walikuwa. Maandiko measia ni malile. Biblia inasema ya kwamba walipuza. Haimu unduwezi mali ile niki Hakuna mwenye alijua ni kwanini walikata Lakini luka ikumina ina Lakini katika kitabu cha luka kumina ne Mustari we kumia dhanda tu Katika mustari wa kumina sita Niwe ni ututa ya kila kumisha tunye malea Hapo biblia inafafanua ni kwanini walikata Mandiko measia ila makuli niwe maisha ati Biblia inasema walipo ulizi Tuine pinda Mmoja akasema atuna wakati Ningu hati ye muunda ni enda kuhiku ima Nimepata shamba mpia na nakusudia kulilima Nina ngombe ni uye Nimepata ngombe kumi wakia Nienda kuhiku itata muunda Na ninataka kuwafunga kuwafunza kulima Nina biyashara mbingu ye Nimefungua biyashara mpia Na niendo diyo mepingua Na ningelitaka kuifungua Na ndine binda Na sina wakati Tafadhali Anielewe Ndekea tafadhali Kwa eshima na anduwa suma imanda ya oo nde male ya kupa Awa wote walikuwa waeshimiwa lakini wakakuwa na visababu Musuwa waka na ya asyati Katika mstari wanine Biblia inasema Ona aeleisi ona the kind of menu he has prepared for them Ni waeleisi mboka muvea wa mboka ula umase umisi Nudo peala menda hako manecha uke uetwe Kwa sababu kuna wageni ya mau kusudia kwanza wajue ni nini wamepikiwa kabla wafike Pea mundu waile kuka nundu wisipe kindu chakebo kuna wambao kwao kufika wangetaka wajue ni nini watakula Na ate umana ata tapetwe kila chaki kindi ni ndoka Na hasipu eleze wa fizuri ni nini ya mepikiwa awesi fika katika mwani Utambito umutabia woka ni tukumandhi ya kibila ndoka Usipo mweleza kwanza ya kwamba ukifika kiti chako tumekuekea vye mwani Utambito umuya kana woka Pasipo kumweleze ya kwamba kapo tutakutambua Dea amba kuiti kila Takubali mwaliko Now the Bible says Biblia di Asia They all responded by giving excuses Oh, the mass Ni me manenga niye we milo Kindu chambe Jambo la kwa They neglected the invite Ni ma budhisye Udocho They despised the invitation Ni ma kuye kwa budhu udocho They gave excuses for the neglect and over and above the excuses there are those who arrested the servants and they treated them badly they treated them badly they persecuted them by beating them and tortured them and as though so that was not enough they even went ahead and killed them that is how generally they responded to the call of the king they despised the invitation by giving excuses the way we give excuses I cannot serve I'm not available on Wednesday I suppose I will be held up somewhere 
watene. I suppose I might be late. Ningo nangeselewa. They even premeditate not to come even Ona, before the day comes. Ni mabinde asia wili njo waku kwata na mudhe nota. Those na are the kind of people that God is speaking to. Ni mubea wala nunga yuku nene. Ya they are also invited. But they gave excuses. And they went and they killed the servants who were the sent one. How did the king react? The king was offended. Verse 6b. And on top of the offense. Na iulua kudhata. He became angry uh, and they released a punishment on these people. The people that arrested his servants and they killed them. And he ordered a destruction of their cities by his army. He released, he released a judgment on these people. And that is how it happened to Jesus Christ. The Bible says that he sent his own to his own people. But his own rejected him. But those who received him. Those who were not part of the invitation. Those who were not in the list of the invited guests. They received an opportunity for an act. And that is how we came in as Kambas. That is how as your tribe came in. That is how the Jews came in. I mean, that is how the Jedals came in. The branch that was meant for their good was broken off from the main, main mother plan. And we got grafted into that motherland, mother plan. And we became part of the original plan of God. And he replaced them by a new grace. And that is why he's on the re he's instructing the servants again. Go to the streets. Go to the streets. Go to the marketplaces. Luke 16 tells us it is very clear. Luke, Luke 14. It is very clear. So he say, go to the poor. Luke, go to yaya. the lame. Maende incha. Go to the blind. Ende yala me ililinda. Go Alamate. to the crippled. Ende yala au mamuza. Let them be the priority to this invitation. Nipe the we uzocho po. Go to the unworthy people. Ende iko ando alama ilita mateke tumi. Go to those who are not deserving this grace. Ende iko alama te ya ilitwe ni mumo wu. Ende compel them to come. Talk to them nicely. Pester them. Let them understand the beauty and the joy of feasting with the king. So that the wedding hall might be full. Because nobody amboka no last majusuwe. Because babu ni lasima chumba chamboga kijaye watu. The tragedy is the house must be full with guests. Mulo wa mfao. Ni musumbi wiku utewa wo. Ni mfao me yupi ya sikathati. Kendu chambe imbo katimba se ovidi. Nambari ya kwanza. Sio wao wa meunda karabu. Natiyo ni ya mwene. Na ni ya mfao me ndi ya mwane. Kwa kuno kuka na kuyano kwenuka. Umealikwa kufika ule na uondoke. 
And that is why he invited the rest of the multitude. Look at the Asia. Compel them to come. Look at inasema madhingisie imo ala wezi la soko ni maili ya nzima kai mamu kuka wale wale utawapata kwa soko wa the bible is very clear he say in the market places in the corners of the market pau pau nduani ala maili kwa in the corners of the market ah ili osio ndesi andua kusoko ni soko na kukui bandani vibanda katika masoko na masoko kundume utea tu kwa mtu wa mikuka na na milana singuite kwa mwana mali amba wanauza vitu visivyo leo wewe asilimo matrika ai ni mamu simbe ndio watakuwa wageni wa mfao ala wewe ya matamba aite ku ya maine na zuko utakuwa mekaa bure kwa kifiti ataingia la wewe la matani sio ni mazi ama malului kite utakao wapata wakiwa wamekaa bure asuni mungu enda ao ndio wageni wao ndio there is now a change of god nundo ni maundo ni mahali huko na niendo kwa ibindani oh metuki there is a change of god that is going to happen na hivi karibuni kutakuwa na mbandiliko wa hali alama ona tamoma tuike timo wale ambao walifikiria ndio wao watajipata sasa alama ona timo matuike nimo na wale ambao wakufikiriwa watachukuliwa kwa hesabu alama ona maelite mataelite matuike yuni mo maelite sio jiona kufaa watajipata wanafaa na alama ona maelite matuike yuma maelite na wale ambao walifikiria wao ndio wanafaa watajipata and that is the tragedy that we are about to experience in the church no suni wo muisio kili uketekea kanisa the people that are going to position themselves in these days and wala me wipe botoa ebindane nya muminu they will be overtaken by grace and they will be lifted to greater heights that they have never known me di ubulwe ne mumo na mo kilwe bandu mata na pe adu no du tu wani badi wago ni yesu na kuna wengine ambao wata acha na mwondoko huo na bola la kwa ni kana ala medho maitiwa dukedha wewe umwe ombi langu ni ya kwamba watakao salia usiwe mmoja wao korone no be ndo ni weta hii korone na jambo imetaja it gave people an opportunity for repositioning it unengi inengie mundu we ibuso ya kwibanga there are people whose gifts have been have been bathed out because of the new dimension that the corona is bringing on kitumindu wa maundwa la corona yona nisie there are people who has who have made resolutions about their own lives their salvation kiyonu bi mweu wa madhayo mo wa maisha and they are pursuing their convictions and their dreams in service na yue ni mati ku ushawishi wa madhayo mo na ndoto sio na wewe kuona maluki ndio na maliendea wewe hapo utawaona wakinuliwa ukiwa pale na kibila kilioneka la wewe amekalile uwezi utesi mekalile point na ile kiti ulikuwa unakalia utawapata wamekalia pasipo kujua ni lini waliketi pale this is solution ya ku zebindalela corona ina miao sijui uamuzi wako wakati wa corona ulikuwa ni hupi i said some other time that there are people who made solutions ibinda jenge na isiye kana pe and make you know and the god god you give another chance na ngaya mea ukanenge buso jenge i will make a difference in my life nika unubi mweu thaluni wako i will put my house in order again na ilia thamu numba ya kwa inge i will position myself to serve ni pange thia uthuku mine lakini the tragedy another tragedy is this indi muisi olongi ni hati for them to come ni kana moke There was a prescribed dressing code. Paina mupango wangu ya mtwana. There was a dressing code. Paina mwikile wangu. The way they told us ingwa siliata. Aijatajwa mavazi yalikuwa namna gani. But what is clear to us in the parable? Lakini kinacho jidhirisha katika Uh, he, is that there was a gate crasher inside the the, the banquet ni ya kwamba kuna mgeni mmoja ambaye alipit aliingia fisivyo katika paisa ambaye the lord we take it ngua yuko mmoja ambaye aliingia visivyo katika arusi a man that never observed the protocols mundu mwe ula utati ya moloto wa ulikambo na musume mkulia fred munyanya wa naye mfaume anamuita rafiki na takwithi wata ukeda wifa kana namna gani uwe umeketi hapa na uwe siku ya numamu the boss ona numbani siangai na kumbe katika nyumba ya bwana wako watu kama hao these are the mixed multitudes 
are not part of what we are doing but they always find themselves inside the bagot and they are very important these are the people who are potential trouble makers when the children of Israel left Egypt travel towards Canaan in the, prom the promised land the Bible says there were a mixed multitude that accompanied them and when they crossed over in the wilderness these are the people who became troublemakers these are people who are obsessed with evil thoughts these are people who would stir up chaos to the children of Israel now these are the people who were inciting the children of Israel against Moses and that is why the man is confounded because he is not entitled he, he never took hold of the dressing code not very keen to observe the guidelines. No more and Nalikitie <laughs> Atawale Biblia inasema ya kwanza ya kwamba alivalishwa kanzu akavalishwa vazi ili ya kwamba akubalike kuingia katika karamu nundu mbokani pengua la yesu liki ya watangiwa mboke nundu kitu mboke wa kila mundu hii karamu siyo mwaliko kwa kila mtu wita nundu wa kila mundu mwito mwaliko ni wakila mtu lakini kuli kambokani lakini katika malango kuingia you must have to dress down and dress up nongi na wibo toengu wa ya mutu pengu wa umia na ingi uike yako mavasi ambayo utavua na mengine utavaa na walea kuitha wimu the na usipo kuwa ya kwamba uko msafi if you are not careful about the guidelines walea kuisu vya na namolo oto you will become like this mixed multitude the guy who was speechless wethi wa wili tamweli cha ula wabindi siki mandiko maasya haa kuulidwe wika daba wethi andanena biblia inasema aliulizwa rafiki yangu uiliwe because he was guilty he was already guilty about it nundu ni wetu la ni weta lile mapitio make and another strategy the tragedy is that there was a condemnation pronounced to him and the pronunciation the condemnation that was pushed on him were three things he was to be held tied the hands and the feet that is number one number two he was to be cast outside and that outside there was darkness the bible says alter darkness and 
And finally there was weeping and gnashing of teeth. Na Biblia ya Syahindi kila kingi cha iboni kana paikio na kuveveta nyamae. That symbolizes there is there was sadness and the pain. Niko na nyaka na baina chalia na baina cheva. He was separated from the king and the banquet. Ni wavetiwe nza wa musumbe na mboka. Kila ngo endo asia niati. Inalo sema ni hivi leo. Bokela ngai utupoke no lazima bokwe. Karamu ile bwana ametuandalia ni lazima ifanyike. Bokesu no lazima ibokwe na. Ni lazima watu washiriki karamu hii. Dinani au atuno ujua boka. Swali ni kina nani watakao shiriki karamu hii. Kwa ni wita no wita no nu mwetu itiwa ngo. Na kama ni mwaliko wote tumealikwa. Ndi nao me respond to wita no ngai wita ni. Swali ni kwamba ni kina nani itikia mwaliko alame ujubudia wita nolu wale watakao puuza mwaliko huu tola yu niende kuita na nundu mwana kimama hii hai wita noni weti tu ya sioke musia ni kama huu kwa sababu mwana mpotefu alikuwa kwa mwaliko wakurudi kwa baba and he responded by coming back home na ee tika kwa kusioka musia na wita nola tu iti tu awe ni waki beba na ule mwaliko tumealikwa nao ni wakiro na tu iti tu mbokani tu iti we na tumei tu wakati na mbokesu na ase no lazima ibo kwe na hii karamu ni mesema ya kwamba ni lazima ifanyike na kedho ni wetu we mbokani isu na kama wewe umeali yo na nyaka na we wapata muno ujue ya kwamba wewe ni mutu wa maana ini uo wedo we waku lakini ole wako kedho wa nduitika mbokani isu kama auta jibu kufika itu minu unenga na siyonde Unaweza kupea na visababu vyote. But the king will not condone your excuses. Ndi musumbe ndake tikila itumisi awili. Nudo mituki pe replacement uto na kwikwa. Maana karibuni kunao ambao watawekwa kwa niaba yako. Wituwa na itumisi akubu. Utaachwa na visababu vyako. Nyele ya kutangi wa nundu na wisi ya numaitu. Nimekata kuokoka kwa sababu watu wetu. Niwezi nilea uduku manundu ini tusilea wamu noma sahani. Mimi siwezi uduma kwa sababu watu na chelewa sahani na katika mambo. Ni ndiona sawa na ndio unaotaba niona kiboyoni nuka ni musele unakuma uyani. Mimi kuona kupata wakati wa kufika katika ushirika kwa sababu ninachelewa kazi. Nitaona ikalothe unirundu ndo wangu kwa maana moti atangie. Siwezi kuishi katika utakatifu maana wale ninafanya kazi na wao sio wacha Mungu. Itumisu sidwa siepo kubika ona kuliketu ni kwa sababu hivi vitakuweko. Tulikuwa ndo maneno gani itumi? Tuingie mbinguni. Lakini ndio kuyata sababu vyao. Zipi ndazizo nisio langu ni gani hakuna wakati bora ando matedo na itumi watu wakose visababu so what are you supposed to do na wailite kuikata it is to notice that the calling is called by the king manaka na wita no suwiti tu ni musumbi and this a celebration of a son is only because a son who has been prepared for a wedding banquet na kana mwana wake ewe kani umaniwe mboka ni asaja mutwan na maani kome asiati na biblia inasema hivi luka katika kitabu cha luka pautu asoma maani ambapo tumesoma Zeasia I tell you the truth verse 24 Miongweli na ina Zeasia a nundu ni ngumutabia ende na usoma Nundu ni ngumutabia P e wa alametiwe vai umwe ukasamaliwa Of those who were invited kwa wale wote wa, eh, kwa onge alametiwe Hakuna yoyote atakayeonja karamu yangu Fatie umwe ukasamaliwa kwa that is the declaration that the king is making the father god the father is making they despised my calling they despised my banquet they despised the feast that I prepared for them they despised the honor and the grace that I extended to them as my friends How will they escape? Yuindi makabono kata. What else have I not done to them? Nungi na tamwa una ameta. For truly I say to you. Na ebi tasya buki. None of them will escape. Wa alameti we. None of them will test of my wedding banquet. Bayu mwe ukasa maliwa. Is full of indignation. Is full of anger. Is full of 
yenga and ready to avenge au sui twende kuipedia and that is why we are saying na nicho kitumitu kwasia if you will be left out of this bad wagon even ukatiwa and they give your excuses about how and why it never happened god is not ready to hear the excuses the word of god says in the book of hebrews chapter 2 verse 3 it is asking how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation that was spoken by God himself and confirmed to us by wonders and the signs and diverse miracles and the gifts of the Holy Spirit God has already made a witness of what he's able to do in your life he has actually demonstrated that you are able to sing you have all the gifts in your life that you can serve him he has also confirmed by his word of the anointing that he rest on you and you are neglecting to exercise it and now he is asking how shall you escape with all the adornment with all the preparation with all the grace that is working in your life you neglect the working of that grace how will you escape in the appearance of the son of God how will be your fate that is a rhetoric question a question that has answer by itself it is a question that should take us home and think about it it's a question that we need to meditate and continue to think about it and respond to it how shall we escape with such a great salvation and you know when you came to Jesus Christ you became the chosen one you became part of the royal priesthood you became part of the holy nation you became a peculiar person a people belonging to God how will you escape with all the titles a chosen generation and yet you neglect the exercise of your gift to serve the banquet takes us back to service it takes us back to a place of commissioning it confirms that we are really friends it confirms that we are not just people but we are true friends to the king and that is why we need to demonstrate it by actions one of the actions is by responding to the call divine call the other thing is demonstrating it by the universal call of everybody that everybody is called and the other thing is by coming in and doing the works of service and my prayer this morning is that will you be found ready for the banquet these were men who were not found ready they took the invitation for granted they neglected the, the, the invitation they even went ahead and tortured the son of God but their, their actions gave us a leeway into the kingdom of God and you have no other need except to take hold of the rope of righteousness and put it on put on Jesus Christ you put on Christ 
Who is yes. the robe of righteousness? And like the prodigal son, when the banquet is prepared, there is no shame. No condemnation. There is no guilt anymore. There is no nakedness anymore. And that is why we just want to stop there. And make an invite this afternoon. Would you be willing? What is that place that God is saying, this is where I need you? In this area, I need your service. In this area, I need your hands in it. In this profession, I need somebody to commission. In this school, I need somebody to represent me. Are you willing? Would you neglect? Will you, will you despise? No, Because when you despise, there is a judgment and God is saying I tell you the truth none of those who are invited to the banquet will test of it and that is a great warning to God to his charge uh, to God to his charge may we pray Loving Father in Jesus name. Thank you for speaking to us. What a great invitation that you have made to us. That even while we are yet sinners. Christ sought us. Christ died for us. He came searching. He came calling. And we are part of those who have answered. Those that have not answered this morning, I pray. That from this invite, oh God, may they find a place to respond to this call. May they find some grace to respond. Because what a great joy to those who love a share in the wedding the Bana, wedding banquet of the Lamb of God for blessed is such who will be part of that wedding banquet and I pray that none of us will lose out on that great day where the sons of God will be appearing before you we pray that you may be clothed with the garment of righteousness. Yes, the Passover lamb of Jesus Christ. Who will give us the access, who will give us the identity to enter. May that blood continue to speak to us. May it continue to defend us. May it continue to speak before us. May it continue to open doors that are closed. May that blood continue to cleanse us day by day. May that blood continue to cleanse our spirits, our minds, our souls. May the same blood continue to prepare us to be a people that are truly yours. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You are there, you are watching me. And you have never had an encounter with Jesus Christ. The calling is still very clear. That God has extended some grace to you. The Bible says the grace of God has appeared to all men. Teaching us to say no to every form of godliness. And living righteously and holy in this present world. The grace of God is able to keep you if only you surrender to Jesus. The grace of God is still sufficient to keep you and uphold you through the journey. No matter the challenges that come your way. You can still continue to serve because the grace of service is still available you don't need to fear Jesus Christ loves you if you are there 
You want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Just raise up your hand. We'll pray together. You are there. You are backslidden. The call of coming back is still fresh and is still sounding. You can still come back and make a new beginning. If only you raise up your hand and we pray together. Let us pray. Our Father and our God. I come to you. Today I've heard your word. And I've known that I'm a sinner. You came to seek. And to save. That which was lost. And I'm here lost. In a far country. Today I come back home. Today I surrender to you. May you receive me as your son. May you receive me as your own dear son. Cleanse my life. And forgive my sins. And today, I will begin a new journey with you. Make me your son. And today, I'm a new creation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. Thank you for being sorry to every soul. Those that are yearning to return to service. May there be sufficient grace for them to serve. May they find a people to welcome them. May they find a people to help them grow and be stabilized in you. In the name of Jesus. I pray that there will be no fear and no shame before you come. For we have served you. And we shall be found ready. For the wedding banquet. Of your son Jesus Christ. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. And amen. amen. May God bless you so much. Amen. amen.